let's talk about entities, right? Some people get really freaked out about entities or thinking that there could be entities attaching to you in some way. But really, it's just energy, like spirit being type of energy that can connect to your energy. I feel they just want to feed off your light. Now, what's interesting is, and they're very easy to get rid of. I, I, I release them through the body code and um, it's not that big of a process, although there could be other things connected to it, to how that entity may have come into your system to begin with. But what I'm noticing that is very, very interesting is that lately, me, my husband, my son, and many of my clients are having entities messing with their energy, right? So I like to look at it as, well, you know, there's so much going on in the world, right? All this, you know, there's, we're, we're moving from 3D to 5D or however you want to look at this shift in the energy. What's happening is so much light is coming to the planet for this big change that we're going through and the darker, heavier energies are coming to the surface to be seen. Now, I feel like a lot of this darker energy is just looking for the light, right? And these, as far as these like entity type of beings. Now, there could be very mildly affecting energies to more extreme energies connecting to you. So you could have mild feelings or differences or something feeling off to really feeling sick or having some kind of like mental type of thing go on, not just physical. So there's a wide range, but still they're not hard to get rid of. Okay. I want to keep saying that because some people get really freaked out and I know because I've pulled entities off myself so easily and I felt the difference in this past week. I, I had like two or three of them. My husband had like three or four of them. My son had one <laughs> and I just keep pulling them off. And we've noticed different things. Like for me, I noticed I would get a headache. I never get headaches. I'm like, what is this all about? So I do the body code, work on myself, entity. Okay, this is what it was. And the energy was kind of located in this area for me. My husband has had some weird things going on with his eyes. And when I cleared the entity, it goes away, right? But now this energy's kind of come a few times in this past week. And I must I muscle test this stuff. So they weren't the same entity trying to come back in, just another entity. So I like to make sure that when I'm doing the release that I also include to just send them to the light. They're just looking for light, right? So instead of feeding off of my light, my energy, your energy, send them to the light during the, during the clearing process. Um, so I just wanted to make a video about this because I'm noticing so much of it. I just want to, Put you at ease if you're feeling something off it could be an entity if you're feeling some weird symptoms that you don't normally have well it could be an entity um i just have to put do not disturb on my phone because i'm recording and i have messages popping up all over the place which is really annoying anyway back to the entities um yeah so i mean the ones i found they're really just like just mildly irritating, right? No, no big major thing. But I have had some people who've gone through some really, you know, when you're going through different things, um, especially some more traumatic type things, or if, say you're in the hospital, I mean, there's so much spirit floating around in the hospital looking for light and they could attach to you at, the, at those times. And you might not even realize this energy is just draining you. Like I remember uh, years ago, I like there's this crystal shop in magic jewelry in New York City and they have one of those cameras that takes a picture of your aura. Now, I remember I took my mother-in-law there and in her aura, which were colors, were these white streaks and the Chinese girls who were explaining, and they read your aura picture and they tell you so much about you by looking at your aura. They just explain these streaks of light were just energy, nothing, nothing um, sinister, but just energy that was trying to attach and use her energy, my mother-in-law. So immediately she goes, oh, I know that's my grandmother. I always feel her around me. So this girl suggested, well, why don't you just tell your grandmother you love her, but that she needs to not drain your energy, you know, that you'll just talk to her without her having to be attached to you 
drawing your energy. So she did that kind of like in a prayer on her own. And we went back the next week, did another aura picture. The lines were gone, right? So it wasn't anything that was scary. Um, and it did drain her energy because she did feel like she had more energy after asking her grandmother to leave, <laughs> right? So it could even be people that you love. It's just spirit energy that's kind of interfering with your energy. But I feel like right now, I think a lot of it is just this darker energy or this spirit energy that doesn't know what to do because they can't, really can't survive here anymore. They need to just go to the light. So you can find a way to do that for yourself, you know, maybe just in some sort of a prayer to release that energy. I certainly do the work to release the energy, but mainly I just want the, to make it clear that all it is is energy. Like every little imbalance within your body, especially body code, belief code, emotion code, we just clear the energies. We're just clearing these energies. It's just, it's just balls of energy that are lodged in your system that are mucking up the normal flow of your energy, right? The normal systems in your body speaking to each other and operating properly. We release these things and wow, that makes a difference. Pain goes away. Emotional upset goes away. Um, opportunities open up, right? Especially when you have like belief code stuff attached to it. And maybe some of this entity stuff has a bunch of beliefs attached to it too, right? That would cause them to be able to have you be someone they could attach to. Uh, I know for me, I always want to help people. I mean, my, family, my husband and my son, they're not healers, but they're very much in this world of healing and they're very much light workers that want to help people as well. So when you're like that, and probably if you're watching this, you are a light worker in some way, always wanting to help and be of service, whether it's a business or just because you do it from the, you know, you just want to help, right? Whether you're in a business or just in your regular daily life helping strangers you see in the street because you see that they need a little bit of help, right? You're a light worker. We hold a lot of light. And so these energies are just looking for light and they're just going to attach and they're just pretty much draining your energy and causing upset within your natural flow. So I don't know if I've repeated myself too much in this video, but I'm hoping I give you an idea that it's nothing to be worried about. Um, at least I haven't come across anything that was so major that you would worry about it with anyone that I've ever worked with. Um, certainly not with myself or with my husband and my son. You know, it's always been very easy to just get rid of that. And uh, I know for me, <laughs> since there were so many in this last week in my home, uh, I'm going to be doing a nice cleansing and saging um, process to my entire house and my land, you know, and just, you know, just to set the energy um, and yeah, actually, here's an idea for you. Like if you want to do that for your home, your land, I'm just going to, you know, build this tunnel of light in, on my property. So it's like, oh, you want to come go up to the light, free yourself, right? Free yourself to be yourself. Um, you can do that. Why not? I mean, we're creators. We call the shots. We decide how things go because everything in your life is a projection of what's going on inside, right? So if we could create all this crappy stuff that occurs in our life well guess what we created it we could uncreate it and we create something better because we're creators so why not create a way for these entities this energy that's looking for light to find a way out find a way to the light without draining mine yours energy you know what i mean so whatever you want to take from that um hopefully it's been helpful if you do like this video, I'd love you to like it and uh, subscribe and leave comments. Like, what's your experience with this? Does it freak you out or do you realize it's just energy and that you can release it? Have you had releases of entities before and seen a difference in your life? Um, I'd love to hear it. So anyway, thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.